Hey everybody, one of the Battletech Alpha Strike campaign game. We're on a mission to Reynolds Rangers, um, the Torian Concordat Force having descended upon this planet, defended by the Aerodani Light Horse. Uh, we will now be on a supply raid. This is the whole point that we're here. We're after the Honey Ham. Uh, it is somewhere inside this like small settlement on this planet. Uh, and of course, the Aerodani have been set to defend it. So we'll show you the table, show you the forces, and get this underway. All right, so we're into the supply raid. Uh, it's going to be Francis Reynolds leading his heavy battle lance uh, with his brand new um, Thunderbolt leading, or I guess maybe not leading the charge, maybe maybe second waving the charge behind the battle masters. Uh, we got Frank himself hanging out in the awesome. That's a 9Q. We got the Warhammer 7M. Uh, and then the battle master, uh, it's a 1G, I believe, and a Thunderbolt 5S. Uh, then over here, the less veteran, um, I think it's a, uh, what should call it, direct fire lance or a pursuit lance? It's a heavy recon lance, sorry. With two uh, locusts, they're going to be the looters. That one's going to get all the loot points for me, I hope, because they're fast. And then um, a catapult and a phoenix hawk. 347 uh, for total points out of the 350 for the supply raid. Here are the light horse, uh, ready to, to roust some of my rummies going after the rum ham. Uh, what do we got? Uh, so the Battle Lance will be making their first appearance, so I figured uh, they've been left in the rear with the gear, and this is you coming for the gear. Uh, so that is Vlad Chocula and his Warhammer. Uh, he's got a Thunderbolt, because you're not the only one that gets to have Thunderbolts hanging this out with him. That's true, even though we make them. Uh, as well as a Catapult and a Valkyrie. Uh, and then over here we've got the Pursuit Lance, because they have to be in every game, because obviously they're the very best. And the Light Horse. Uh, yeah, and they're the Light Horse. Uh, so we've got the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, the Wasp, the Stinger, and the Locust. And the middle is uh, some bits and pieces. So it is uh, Captain Horatio Crunch, as always, in his Marauder, ready to do some marauding. <laughs> Mid um, running. I've got the Blackjack, which is one of the elements from my uh, Reserve Lance right. that doesn't fit into any of my other structure. And then uh, my last is my big addition from last game. So we found a 40-point uh, mech, so I bought a Thug. So cool. And then I used some of my leftover points to recruit an upgraded pilot. So he's going to be a level 3 pilot to bodyguard awesome. Captain Crunch. I love your Thug. All right, so it's going to get Thugly in here. He need, he'll, he'll need a name after this, definitely. So we've got, um, you're going to be using the reinforcement rules, which means half your models, routed down, uh, will go on the... Um, the, the reserve pool and then show up later in the game. And you also get hidden deployment for your defenders, which means you start unactivated and shut down. And until you activate the model, they get plus three defense and can't be targeted unless I spot them from either getting inside six, so short range, or having someone with eagle eyes and something mark them. Vader has pinpointed a small outpost up here in the middle, which holds vital honey ham and materials essential to the defender's economy. And I'm determined to pillage it. The defenders have the local defense force on hand, which are too few to stop a determined raid. But there are more in the surrounding area that have been called in as reinforcements. The attacker has a limited window to steal what they need before the cavalry shows up. So 4x4 table, 6 turns, up to 350, which we both already deployed. And then the setups according to the area of operations, so once again, our kind of like fieldy, plainsy planet. Um, and then uh, it's force withdrawal, uh, but we have to use the, sorry, we don't use population density or buildings. We use the, the one set up here. Force withdrawal, um, we have potentially windy day. Time of day, planetary defense force, defender gets hidden units, and then looting, and then reinforcements. So looting is if I give up my shooting in contact with one of these buildings, I get D3 um, loot points, which counts as my VPs. All your intact buildings at the end of the game that I don't destroy are worth three VPs each. I either need to loot a total of 18 points, <laughs> or more than 18 points, and not destroy these buildings, um, or I need to uh, to destroy a bunch of buildings and keep looting them. Now, any of my mechs with manipulators, so hands, so my Phoenix Hawk, uh, my Thor, and my Battlemaster, everybody else has gun arms, get D3 plus one when they loot. Dude, you're the Torian Concordat. How do you not know that thing's called a Thunderbolt and not a Thor? Oh, what did I just That's say? That's your star player. That is my star player. He's new. I don't know. He's new. I like his hustle. Um, and they'll get an extra point when they loot. See, two of those are actually my fighting masks, my uh, my Thunderbolt and my... They both have the at the beginning. Give me some slack here. And uh, and the Battlemaster obviously want to be shooting, so the Phoenix Hawk will probably be doing that lifting. 16-inch deployment zone along with his hidden units. I have an 8-inch deployment zone, and I set up the... Um, the 
settlement basically within uh, one of the center point of the table and an eight inch cluster. Destroyed building, each unlooted building is worth three VPs. So I have to move to different ones and keep looting. The defenders, uh, Jay does get three SRM green infantry detachments. So he's gonna put one in each building. I'm just gonna denote it with these elementals uh, to shoot SRMs at me. Um, and this is who he's trying to rescue. Loot a building, not destroy it. I'll mark it with a marker uh, to know that you no longer score VPs from it as well. Random time of day, let's see what time of day it is. It is uh, three to five afternoon and no rules apply. Let's see if the mission conditions are wind force one or wind force two. Roll me a d6. On a four plus. Ah, it's wind force one for how many turns? Roll again. The whole game. Nice. <laughs> this is only going to affect the PDF, yeah, probably why they called it. We didn't look at it last time, really, because it didn't affect We anyone. didn't have any infantry, exactly. So, Wind Force 1 is in effect, and that's why these guys are even more inept, even though they're green in skill 5. Failing winds being Wind Force 1, it means that uh, these poor fools, if they decide to get out of the building, are going to lose movement to a minimum of 2 inches if they move less than 2 inches. Uh, luckily, they're, they're inside buildings. So, we got 3 light here. They can each hold one, basically, like size uh, worth of. Um, uh, like max per inch. They're only an inch tall. So if I land on top of one with my size twos, they get crushed uh, Then we have a two inch tall size two mediums basically which are going to be able to uh, be two inches tall and hold size two per inch so four um, Like size can stand on those with them collapsing and this is a three inch tall uh, heavy building which means for every inch, uh, it'll hold three size, so nine size total can stand on that without it collapsing. They absorb damage for the infantry, but uh, as they're green infantry, I'm not super worried about them attacking me, uh, and we are ready for the first turn. These guys are inside the buildings, not on them, just to denote the fact that they're occupying it. His fanatical planetary uh, population gives him D6 extra BSPs for his uh, battlefield ops. Oh! A bonus of one. Wah, wah. <laughs> it's still something. I'm gonna spend this much to do this, and I have from the last game the ability to reroll my failed mission ops. I have to roll a six plus. I do. Point. You're, you're one enough. point. You don't have the SPs to do anything cool. Do any of the thing I want to do. That's fair. You need at least ten for a gather reconnaissance. So I've got a. Oh, sorry. Oh, I gotta gather reconnaissance. <laughs> Crunch, you don't have your command lance with you this time, so it means you don't get any bonus initiative rolls. So over here we have your scent, no. Blackjack. Blackjack. Warhammer, T-Bolt, Catapult. Uh, catapult and Valkyrie. So basically everything that's starting on the table is all the stuff in my force that I didn't play with last game. So right. left <laughs> Perfect. So and then I got my main assault lance in the middle here. We got um, Frank with the Battlemaster, the Warhammer and the T-Bolt. And then my um, Heavy Recon lance. I have my uh, Phoenix Hawk. Catapult and my two locusts, and so it's initiative. But you don't get your cool reroll for your command. Give me your luck marker. So your luck marker should be the total number of the battle lance, so four plus uh, two, so six. So my battle lance. I also get luck markers. Oh, I need to do a sign. Start of the turn. Uh, choose from eagle eye, forward observer, maneuvers, or time uh, for two different max. I'm gonna do forward observer to both the. Um, locusts for my indirect fire, my catapult. The lance formation doesn't give you any additional ones on the being in this turn. So initiative is you. The guy first, because you won the initiative. You've currently got eight models on the table to my eight, so no uh, having Five. to alternate. He's count, that's right. The, the PDF is yours, so. Shit, those guys down myself. <laughs> it's, it's not what you wanted, but it's what you got. So we're going. We're helping to dash. Well, not even dash, just move. With the locust up to here and oh, begin like begin the looting. I'm sorry, he's uh, you know, just a little guy. <laughs> they they said still a name because they're green. I'm gonna get SRM'd in the face, but that's the life of a locust. This two electric boogaloo is gonna go. We're not gonna make it to the other big building, so we're just gonna head over to this light and hull down. Yeah, they're basically just pass tokens for you at this point, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> which makes sense. And then this fella is going to go, I think he goes 12? You're a Phoenix Hawk, you go 12 jump. So we can go another four, so we'll go up to this flank. Which gives us a two. And you're out of pass tokens now as the infantry aim their rocket oh, wait, launchers. Oh, I have to play the game now? Yeah, you do have to play the game. I don't, I don't know what decisions <laughs> to make. Mr. The Catapult, he's going to, I think, just get in the woods. Because he's got lots of Ford observers. And just sit over here. So we'll do the blackjack. Blackjack! I'm going to start my own colony with honey ham and blackjacks. <laughs> A one, go Stroll walk to, yeah, go engage the catapult. For Francis to get in the war, go big fella, take a walk, get in the middle of it. Dun, 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 dun. You can smell that honey ham already. <laughs> uh, Mr. Valkyrie? Uh, he prefers to be called Dr. Valkyrie. Dr. Valkyrie, <laughs> that's right. Uh, he went, didn't go to medical school for that long and not be called doctor. He's gonna come 
walking out over here. Am I going to jump or walk? Uh, he's going to walk. Sweet. Yeah, you can go super far so you can easily get in the woods. You should be at two. Well, it's time for T Bolt to T Bolt. I don't even know how far you walk. You go eight, I bet. You go eight. Eight is great. Walking to here. Ready to bolt all the T's. He goes. Getting in the colony. Got a bolt. Yeah, so he is going to come over there. And he's also a one. Get ready for Mistletown. He's uh he's the mayor of Mistletown. <laughs> the longbow. The longbow is mayor of Mistletown. Uh, and then we're gonna walk up the Warhammer to go party with these fellas. Thunderbolt. I have a Thunderbolt fight. I can see it now. He's gonna come around there. Are you going after all the guys with hands? Oh man, that's a mean hands thing. Hands are to a do. privilege, not a right. I guess that's true. Do I just go face down the blackjack with the battle master and be like, hey, oh hey, hey, what are you doing over here? Blackjack, I'm, I'm, I'm playing nothing but 52 pickup. Uh, I'm going to do my war hamster. Da dun, da dun, da dun. Like how my war hamster trying to high five and yours is all like guns ready. The arms on these are pretty easy to reposition for anyone watching this. They're they're just kind of cyanacrylated on when you get these guys pre-assembled. So if you want to snap them off, you can usually get them off pretty clean and then repose. I have to shoot first. I have no choice. So easy stuff. These fools are just all going to loot. So I can only loot buildings that are um, unoccupied, which means I have to kill these guys to get to here. That's terrible. So we're going to start placing honey ham markers on these two. Uh, and not shooting with them. So for the little guy, he doesn't have a hand manipulator, so he's only going to gain three from that one. And then over here, I get plus one. Oh, I go to seven wow. VPs for this. So we get our kill VPs, plus we get... Um, you're, you're currently sitting on 12, though, bonus from being at uh, that many unlooted buildings. So as long as those infantry... Uh, survive, I can only loot one more of these buildings. So now we're gonna try and kill some infantry. So these are just regular old uh, SRM infantry. Now they have two armor and one uh, like structure basically That's and have a single die at six inch range. Center, but I'm plus three to hit you right now because you're, um, sorry, I'm plus for, I think you being in a building, plus three because you're hidden uh, until you activate and then plus Whatever your TMM is. One, two dice for my locust at this range. Pilot die is purple, always. And I'm hitting on eights. Well, that's good. So is there a critical table for buildings? So little Mr. Locust here is gonna fire um, into the building. Now, the way that the buildings work when I fire the infantry inside them is I don't actually shoot them. They have a damage absorption and they have a construction factor. So for the heavy building, it has eight construction factors. So it'll take eight before it's destroyed. So I'm actually just gonna put the die counting down on it. I think the mediums are what, six? They have a damage absorption of three, which means when I attack them, they'll take up to three points of the damage from the attack, and then anything over that gets applied to the infantry inside. Uh, and then once that happens, anything they absorb goes into their uh, construction factor, and when their construction factor hits zero, they collapse. So we're gonna attack the infantry with this little locust. He is skill four. Um, he is in short range, so zero. And it's immobile, so minus one. So I think I just hit on threes here. I got two dice. Purple is always pilot. I hit once, so it absorbs one point of damage. The infantry take nothing, and that's all done. Well, that feels like now we should actually start shooting mechs. So <laughs> we're gonna go over here and go with my battle master. This is uh, the younger Reynolds. So he has a. Do I want to overheat? Oh, also we um, did have people note <laughs> when, when the you second die roll of the first <laughs> turn. I like overheating. So you do apply your overheat level to your to hits. Yeah. We did, we missed that I last. Saw that. Not not movement because we're we're blending alpha strike and. Um, Regular battle tech. So the I'm battle master. Star Wars rules. <laughs> let's, let's do it. I have three for the battle master. I'll overheat for four. Skill two, three, four for range, five for terrain, six for your TMM. See if we can get you. Uh, looks like three, three points to the armor. Catapult's gonna go. He'll direct fire at you as well. He's got three dice at that range, and he is gonna be on fours. Um, fives for the intervening terrain, and then six sevens for range, eights for your TMM. Three for an extra die as well. Hit on eights. That looks like two. Uh, uh, little Mr. Blackjack. I'm all out of armor. I'm, I'm into it. You're all out of armor. I'm all out of sympathy. So we're going to go with Francis. Uh, he's going to shoot you for one, two, three for range, four for TMM, five for intervening. Um, 
Five for cover. Fives. Uh, he is the awesome with four dice. That looks like four. That's the end of him. Blackjack lays down. All right, so all this is done. It's just the Warhammer and the T-Bolt left. I think, uh, you know, in a Warhammer and T-Bolt fight, we're gonna start Warhammering and T-Bolting. So my Thunderbolt is going to shoot your Thunderbolt. He is skill two, three, four for range, five for terrain, six for your TMM. So overheat for one, so we get to four dice. Shabuya, one sixes, three. Well, I probably should have rolled for a crit over there just for our repairs for later. Oh, right. Uh, I get a six. Just the Warhammer. Uh, I think we shoot the building with him. He's infantry out of here. I'm not going to kill him this turn, but I might be able to collapse the building on them. He'll overheat as well. He's got five dice. So five dice. Uh, hitting on twos, threes, because it's obscured behind this. And it's a mobile back down to twos, I'm pretty sure. Four? So you absorb three of it, and then they take a point of armor damage. Which will go to two. Blah. Use those black dice for that. And yeah. then four would take this down to three left before it collapses. Well then, that's all I could muster. Show me what you can muster. And now it's back to you. Um, those infantry? So those infantry are gonna snap a SRM shot off at your Phoenix Hawk. Sweet to hit. Oh. Get it. Roll it. Go oh, infantry! Bam! That's not seven. No. Okay. No. Uh, and then those guys are gonna blast the locust. the locust. So four plus three for just being a locust. So seven again. Crank That'll it. do it. Well, he's not liking that. Take that he, point of damage. <laughs> he only has two armor. Yeah. What a honey hand to be stolen. So last infantry's got nothing yet. Okay. So we'll go to, to mech town. Remember you measure from the building, not from the mech, from the dudes, yeah, right? Still, I think six. Okay, okay. not quite yeah, in. Just what about him? No, no. Okay, got it. Valkyrie. So we'll do the Valkyrie up. Yep. Uh, oh, please be medium range. Yes. Short range? Medium range, yeah. Short, he has less dice to short range. Oh, gotcha, totally gotcha, gotcha. forgot that when I positioned him. Um, okay, so he's going to have two dice. Um, he is skill three. Okay. So three, four, four five. five. Six, seven for range. Six, seven. Bam, right in the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, you've been Phoenix Hawked. You done got Phoenix Hawked, son, for two, so he's got two armor left. The cat and catapult. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna catapult you up. Uh, so again for the Phoenix Hawk. See. So he's gonna be three dice. Uh, so again, still medium range. So four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, he's skill four, so it'll be uh, eight. Yeah. Yeah, eight. So eight's on three dice. Now does he oh. have the does he have the lucky SPI? Um, is he in the battle? Yes, line? he is in that. So you can reroll that pilot die and fish for a crit. So that's what I'm gonna do. On an eight. I totally forgot that. On an eight. Eight is hey. great. Oh, and he gets it. Gets the crit. All right. All so right. we'll just see what the crit is. So my last, my I have one point armor what left. Is, no, what is it two or is it twelve? Uh, two. Two. As the headshot, I believe. Uh, Ten stokes. Fire control hit. Whoa. So that's the just plus two to hit. Just the head directly in the fire control. And then we'll do the thunderbolt. So he's also going to go with the Phoenix Hawk. See? Uh, so he is going to be four dice. Oh. He is skill three. Oh. So he'll be three, uh, four, 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 five, five six. six. Uh, and you're within seven, six. Eight. Oh, I was. If you're within six, then you're not I don't seven. I think eight. I was. Okay. No. no okay. So, so seven, eight. eight. And he also has the lucky SBA. He does. That is, uh, that is pretty great. So, so you've got two so far. So that if you get one more, I'll be happy to be forced to retreat. Yeah. Because so I'm going to reroll this. I'll keep. Pilot die because I don't want to come not a hit. Yep. Bam. That's three. That breaks my armor and gets half my structure, which means I'll be forced to retreat next turn. Oh, and it's in your structure, so that'll be a crit. And it's another crit roll, yep. Bam. Six. Manipulator hand. That's a good hand. Take my strong hand. And he's falling back next turn. He's going to need a hook. He's going to need, need something. Okay. Ooh. You got to take the honey ham and run. He got four honey hams. He's a very guy here. <laughs> yeah, I need that locust not to be alive. Okay. Fair. Um, so we're gonna warhammer that locust. Oh dear. Oh not dear. Sure, no? Okay. Um, so he's base three. He's base three. Okay. Um, he's overheat one, so you could go to four if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, so that's gonna... that's all my armor and structure if you hit with everything. <laughs> okay, so uh, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yep. 
Ten with four dice, and you still got some luckies because you're in the Battlelands. Uh, one? Uh, so we got one, and then, yep, yeah, we'll re-roll that. So we're down to three. Oof. I mean, this is the turn where you are numbered, right? So you might as well blow them down. Oh, Wicked. it's a crit! So, all right, so my armor's gone. Yep. Crit. That's all my armor. That'll be a five. Okay. It's five and nine and eleven. It's compromised. If you can get one more damage on him somehow with the blackjack, he'll be forced to retreat too. And that's my two of my three looters have been taken away. Yeah. So blackjack is going to be medium. Two dice. Blackjack is going to overheat. Use his overheat of two. Whoa! That's amazing. So you go to four. Jeez, I mean, he's going to be not here. Yeah, yeah. He's he's here for a good time, not a long time. So, so <laughs> then he might as well. He is four, five, six. <laughs> Uh, nine. Nine, ten. Ten. Okay. Tens, four dice. You just need to get one. I'll be forced to retreat. Yeah. He is not in the Battle Lance, unfortunately. Mm, gets but it! We'll and a crit. Another crit. Damn, Gina. All right. So, let's see what you get. Six. Six is a weapon hit. Phase. Uh, everything is removed. It's a new turn. That was good. So you got rid of two of my looters, basically, because I don't want to like forfeit combat activations with not these little guys. Uh, and they'll be forced to retreat this turn. And if you can finish them off, obviously they're worth additional VPs. Initiative, pick 100 points of your max, or up to 100 points, put them aside. And on turn one, it's on a five plus to get placed on your deployment edge. Suit Lance, they're 100 points, so five up, roll a die. Bam. It's a D6 for each mech. So starting with the Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk is not coming yet. You said five plus, yeah, right? five plus. Uh, on, the, on this turn. Yeah, Locust. Nope. Nope. Stinger. Uh-oh. Nope. And then... Wasp. And the Vasp. That's He's all I up. needed. It was just Wasp. That's the Wasp. All right. That's fine. <laughs> wasp arrives. And now it's interesting for round two. hey Doop. Uh, eating, even adding my plus two will do nothing. Oh, I did have blue die. Oh, wow. Then it was me. And adding plus two will do nothing for you. Well, I'll take it. The moment I should have cheated. That was the moment you should have cheated and just been like, you're right, Ash. You're not an idiot. Um, so, yeah, I'm moving first. Then. Or no, you're moving first because I lost initiative. Oh, and, right, right. And, and by which I mean your pass tokens will pass. Right. <laughs> pass token passes? All right, sweet. Uh, <laughs> I need to get out of dodge with all of these broken mechs. So they might as well just start by getting out of dodge. Oh, now you have pass tokens. I mean, if by pass tokens you mean my legs is gone and I don't want to die because I have one hit point left, then we're going to be like deuces. Actually, we'll sprint off with the honey ham. Like being destroyed. <laughs> so the honey ham leaves and then back to you. Pass number two. All right. Well, then we sprint again uh, and he can jump. So he can go 12 plus, I think it's half. So that's going to be 12 plus six is 18. So eight and eight is 16 and two more. I almost make it off. Ah! Three. <laughs> and the third pass token is now gone. So do I loot this back one hoping not to die? I mean, I'm going to probably die. I can collapse this building, so I could just stay here as well. I've been told there's no greater mm -hmm. gifts than faith, hope, and charity, so, you know. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm going to just move my Warhammer up slightly. I'm going to shoot you. It's now gone. Back to you. Okay, so i got to play the game again. Got yep, it. you have to actually move a guy. Okay. Um, and you haven't gone with Frank yet. No, nope, Frank. Francis is oh. sitting still. Okay, he's going to go 10. Oh, he's going to hunt this little guy. He's only got two Almost structure left. Almost off the board is not the same as off the board. This is true, yeah. And he's worth lots of VPs. Duck, dodge, and dodge. Well, Dr. Mr. the Catapult, eh? I think we just, uh, just go laterally. And put our bomb sideways so that we can shoot all the things. The bolts, as you will. Back to you. Sprint 18 with the wasp. I mean, why not? Second. I forfeit my shooting. <laughs> I mean, he is in like a sprinting pose, which I love. Usain Bolt, like, like lean forward and somehow break the speed of sound. So I'm going to move one of you three idiots. Yes, idiots. <laughs> Come on to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we move you and you go over to here. 
staying hull down, readying that sweet, sweet missile barrage. So I just want to double check that I haven't misunderstood. You can only loot a building once. Yep, that's it. They okay. can only be looted once, and then once they're looted, that's all the points I get from them, right? So it's a push-pull. You have 12 VPs locked in here right now, and I can't get these ones out until I collapse the buildings and unoccupy them. And you can still occupy a collapsed building. I don't know what happens to the infantry, but they might not die. T-Bolt? Um, yeah, because I don't like his hand. You don't like his hands? His hands are meant for looting. I don't know if you know that. He has honey hands. Honey ham hands. Honey ham so we're hawks. Just walk right into you. Just, oh, you're gonna have a Thunderbolt fight. Is that how yeah. this is? Well, your Thunderbolt is made in my factory, so we'll see how this goes. Well, Frank, you know what uh, makes you happy? Well, besides being you, is walking around this and getting your guns wherever they need to be. Thing is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the Torians. So we're gonna go with the Warhamster. The Warhamster, okay. Um, so do I go after Battlemaster because it's a bigger threat, or do I go after Frank because it's Frank? I mean, I'm overheating a bunch already now, so it's not the best for me to shoot you. I'm I'm slightly hurt. Oh, you haven't activated that locust yet. Have no, you? no, no, no. He's uh, he's ready to do things. I can't unfortunately just freely loot this because you're touching it. Is, is this happening? <laughs> I'm just gonna barge through. <laughs> oh yeah! Cool, <laughs> man. That thing. Okay, <laughs> felt appropriate. Um, hmm. I didn't love that, so <laughs> I guess we go with the uh, battle master. The battle hamster wants you know, to. There's go. a part of me that's surprised no one's written in the comments. Do you, do you know how the light horse is supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what the word light means? I don't know words. Uh, let's just walk over here. They're like dragoons, only with one less O. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to buy an O? Circular and sweet. He's gonna walk. Mr. Well, Catapult. Yeah, I forgot I have a guy. Mr. Catapult well, gets to go. Having guys. Uh, so you're the same at short end, so you'd be better off to get closer. Be fair. So yeah, it's catapult time. And he's gonna... Just get in the middle of it, mix it up. Yeah, he's gonna hug that That's wall. That's fair. But we'll see what happens. Getting ready to rocket barrage? Well, you lost the initiative roll, so you are shooting first, so fire away. Swing away. Oh, wait, no, I have a locust. What am I doing? Uh, swing away, Meryl, until we go by. No, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. Don't think you can run through my tackle zone like that. <laughs> Can't I? Wait, wait, I'll make a dodge roll. Can a warhammer hit, can a warhammer hit you with a four? Two plus dodge. <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> Reroll for dodge. Arm bars for you there, Mr. Warhammer. So pick a gun, any gun. You look like they're out of range of everything this turn. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, this one might be in range of Frank. Oh, that's funny, because I was actually thinking that one, but not quite. Yeah. Not quite him. No. This one is in oh, Frank. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. And then Let's these do that ones first then before I forget. Okay. Uh, His building is on fire, so. So four. Five for TMM, five. and then that's it. Okay, five it is. Bang, right in the mech. I'll Got him. Guys. Hooray! For free, they're doing quite a good job. <laughs> they were well worth the points I <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, What's the plan here, Meryl? Right then left, <laughs> left then right. Right then left, so we'll finish on the Valkyrie Sweet. shot. Okay, so we'll hit up the Wasp. The Vasp. Uh, you can't shoot. So. I'm now the one who's going to shoot. <laughs> so the war hamster? So we're going to do the war hamster against okay. Frank. Oh, it's getting spicy. So he is going to be three dice. Okay. You know he's going to overheat. You know it. So um, overheat the second. So he is, uh, he's definitely in short range. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So he is going to be skill four, five, six, six for, heat. for heat. Yep. So sixes. You got it. End him right just here. End him, just end, end him. Awesome. You got lucky. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely gonna lucky that. Oh, oh look at all the you force. Really like force. So Use the force, Jay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Catapult. So catapult is also gonna catapult Frank. I like how it's all just vendetta with you. Vendetta, vendetta, vendetta. So there, there is a somewhat well, a master plan would be wildly <laughs> exaggerating it, but there's a plan. There's an end goal. Okay. Okay. Hit him. Uh, so sorry. Three. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, four, five, and I'm assuming you get cover from that, yep. so six, so that looks like sixes. Six. Oh, I think he might not he's in be six. in short range. Yeah, he's in six. Definitely. Oh, he is too, yeah. sorry. Okay, so what did I say, sixes? Sixes. Sixes and sixes. Is he heating up at all? Not he can't. Not those rolls matter? Okay. He yeah. can't. 
Um, but he is part of the battle ants, so we're... We're rolling the power die. Go for it. Go big or go home. Sixes. Oh! I'll spend a bike point. Dollar shark. Halfway through Frank's armor. And then I'm going to Thunderbolt your Thunderbolt. That's a fair assessment. So it's four dice. He's skill three. Is it six? Not quite. Okay. No, I think it is. Let me. You're you're oh, you're over the table here. No, yeah, you're definitely you're definitely in. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So it's uh, skill three, one for your TMN. Yep. So four. Hey. Good thing I packed all this armor. Uh, Look, three. So that is three, and you know what? I'm gonna spend the, the last one. Last my luck point. All right, do it. I mean, early on is when you need this. Got them all. So that's four, gonna be four. four. That uh, gets almost half my armor gone, or more than half my armor gone. The Valkyrie is in this lance too. That's okay. You're still gonna hit me probably. I only, I can only take oh, two and more before I have the most dice. So yeah, that's okay. Two more will kill me because I'm at half. So he is. Oh, he's also skill three. Three. So three. So three. Four or five for my TMM. Uh, four five and then uh, six seven six, for seven range. for range. So sevens. Come on. You have overheat. Uh, I do not. All right. I have a ton of mechs that don't have overheat. Two sevens. Get him. Oh, that Someone. lucky would have done it too. So he's down to one. Force of the draw is real. So angry. <laughs> so angry. All right, so now another 100 points can show up, and these will be on four pluses for you. So shoot back. I was going to say, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. But I do get, I do get a turn, don't I? Okay. You yeah. do get a shoot. <laughs> I was just excited I got to live. Um, well, let's go with the Thunderbolt. Yeah, you know what? No, that's enough for you. That's enough that's for me. Enough. I've had enough. No, no, no. This is my moment. So we're going to go with the T Bolt, and he's going to have a T Bolt fight. We need a T Bolt. Which T Bolt got left? Um. He has four armor left, mm. and he's taking no crits. I did blast him pretty good. So I'm on two, three because I overheated, four for your TMM. I'm just going to overheat again. We're four dice. Uh, we're zero for range, so it's two, three for heat, four for TMM. Wham! Uh, we'll reroll that with a lucky because he's in the battle lance. And I'll give you four. So that is all my armor, but not into my structure yet. Oh, not yet. Warhammer's going to go back. Uh, I think I just try and kill, kill your Warhammer this turn. Why? So, what did I ever do to you? Just actually, very little. Just exist. Yeah, just looking very, very back on it. Looking very back, very little. Looking back, not a whole lot. So my Warhammer has a two skill, three for your TMM, four because you're in the woods, and then five for overheating. Read again for five dice on fives. I'll spend that to reroll the one. And I'll crank you for five. So that is all my armor, but not into my structure. Okay. Francis is gonna Francis, <coughs> same thing. One goes to two for your TMM, three for your cover. Bloody I got four dice. Eat Frank. Oh man, so one goes to two goes to three. So I hit and I'll re-roll the battle lance, re-roll the pilot die. And get you four times. So that is gonna be a crit. Two. And the critical effect is. An eight, which is, I think it was your weapons. No, it was your fire control. And then, uh, do I waste it? Do I just shoot you in the back with the locust? Because you thought you could ambush me. We're gonna do that first. Four, <laughs> he's only got one die. Uh, you use five, six for the cover, seven for your TMM, eight, nine for the range. We can do this. Finish him off. <laughs> for one, and it's a crit. Oh, and that does almost finish him off. Yeah. For an eight, another fire control. Um, I think we go with the catapult, and uh, well, I will save him for the building. We'll go with the battle master. One hit here. We're just gonna try and finish off that warhammer. He has the battle master has three dice. He's probably zero for range. Looks like he's within six. Yeah, he is. So, yeah. Um, so that's gonna be two, three for his heat, four for your concealment, five for your TMM. Three dice. Bam. Finish him off. Oh my god, that almost totally pooped the bat. The interior crit, yeah, just to see you get a repair. It's a seven, which is, I think, weapon round. So dice come off. And then we are into your reinforcements again. So 100 points nominated, and then you're on fours this turn to place them on your board edge. And this is the turn where I think I start cutting and running, because I've gotten real lucky, but I'm real heated up now. And you've got five Mexican come, including 
the big boys. I did have one thing left, and I had my uh, catapult. He's just gonna try and shoot the building. Oh, sure, fair enough. Uh, it's four, five because of heat, six because it's obscured, but then it's immobile, so back down to fives. You just not shoot this turn. It should be medium range too, I would think. Oh yeah, six, seven for medium range. I'm actually just not gonna shoot with him this turn and just bleed the heat off. That feels like a better idea. I think, I think that's the first time yeah, we've ever decided to get rid of heat. So yeah, so grab your 100 points. Yeah, so hmm. can't quite afford a little guy too. Light with him. So Phoenix Hawk on four. Nope. And Horatio, Horatio on four. Coming to fight Frank on his own ground. Oh. oh. He's just this, too far away. This light cavalry thing is not. <laughs> Don't you have like a company thing where you can reroll reinforcements or something? So I'm kind of like, oh, it's your your runaway. That's edge my, different. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> round three initiative. Hi. Uh, my plus two does nothing, so I got to move first. E he leaves the honey ham and one structure left. Pass. <laughs> to no one's great surprise, a pass. Uh, hmm. I've almost killed the Thunderbolt. Um, my Thunderbolt, however, is super exposed, and this guy could easily get behind it. So I think what we do is we actually go with the catapult, and he's just going to get himself into short range over here of that building. <laughs> yeah, the passes continue. Pass token is now done. Um, we should actually do a unit count. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to my one, two, three, four, five, six. So no, no having to have multiple activates here yet. Um, I don't feel great about the Warhammer where he's standing right now. I don't feel great about the Thunderbolt where he's standing right now. I don't feel great about where anything's standing right now, to be honest with you. I think we just battle master over to here and get in the war with Frank. To you. Oakley Dokley. Uh, he's gone. He hasn't gone. Okay. So it's going to be the Wasp first. Yep. And he is 12 and 2. So he is going to jump, actually. Okay. I think he carry nine weight, so I think his being two is not going to cause yeah, any problems. It's more than good. One, because he's light, that's right. You have hmm. Eight more friends join him up there. Eight more friends? It's so many friends. Uh, I don't want to get killed by reinforcements, so the, the locust could hide over there, but I feel like it's just a terrible idea. Mm, he's going to hide somewhere slightly different. You could pretty much plan on my reinforcements just never showing up. Also we're, true. We're pretty much on that track right now. Also true. I think we're going to go over here, though, and attempt elite. Back to you. Well, that makes my next choice obvious from the feel of things. So he's going to go eight. And come back to hunt the locust? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Turn your back to me. Turn your back to me. Well, when you can't Warhammer, just Warhammer. Uh, Warhammer's going to walk eight over to here. No, no, no. We just, we just continue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Reynolds Way. The Reynolds Way is not cowardice. Reynolds Way is straight murder. I'm glad you're glad that I feel that way, because we're just, <laughs> this was like the charge of the Aerodotony Light Brigade. <laughs> Hi everyone! Uh, okay. I guess we keep going, keeping on, having the Thunderbolt fight. Mm, like so. Mm, like so. <laughs> I don't like this little guy. This little guy? Um, he doesn't like you either. What do I need <laughs> the most right now? He's going to go up here. supporting that is that uh, I lost the initiative so I have to shoot first easy stuff because we can we're gonna quickly steal the last honey ham that's freely available now to tie it up you have nine locked in here with remaining buildings I have to get at least a Don't three plus if you're looting them it goes straight down to kills I got a three plus so I get two points I got a nine so we're at nine nine each right now for the actual like supply raid that ties it up but I can't loot that one again and that's the last of my fast movers. We have to loot with, uh, you know, the big boys after this. It's shooting guns, which is what we do. Mm, I mean, 
it's just like, it's just right there. And it wants us to kill it, obviously. We'll start with the Warhammer. Heat it up like crazy. So we skill two, zero for range, three for TMM, four, five for heat. Go all in and heat up again. No, no, that's Ash, the worst thing that could happen. That's, that's a terrible idea. He's got four dice. Just leave him be. Wait, what's the Warhammer shoot? Uh, into your Thunderbolt's back. Oh, got it. Right, right. Yeah. I'm going to get the wrong back. There we go. And bang, bang. That looks like four. That's a D10. That is a D10. I don't even know what that's doing here. Let's try again. Ah, it's a miss. We'll SPA it. Hey, yeah. Uh, now it's four. Got a crit. And you got one, one point left in oh, there. One point left. I'm fine. I should overheat it. An eight is your movement. <laughs> we shot off everything on the legs down. Uh, okay, well then Mr. Catapult is also going to shoot him. Uh, we are going to Catapults have... Are stupid. I know, <laughs> Catapults are stupid. Three dice, uh, four for obscured, five, six for range. Good thing I didn't overheat. And then, so oh, yeah. Yeah, you dropped your heat on him. That's right, time. so it's four base, five for obscured, six, seven for range, eight for your TMM. Not, I have one lucky SBA left and he's not in that group. Just gotta get one. Uh, how about two? Uh, and do you want to roll your crit? Yeah, see what the crit is. Just for repairs. A four? Fire control hit. It is. And he'll be done after that. Well, then, it's you two and you. Duh. He's going to get rocketed in the back in a second. We can live with that. Let's just see what Francis does. Just, just shoot the catapult, Francis. Four dice. He's one, two for your TMM. The end. Bang. Have four. Okay. <laughs> He's got lots of armor. Thunderbolt's gonna go. He's two, three, four for range, five for your TMM, seven for heat. Or I could just cool off. No, never. <laughs> this Thunderbolt shooting at, you? at the back of this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he's three, four, five for heat, six for TMM, seven, eight for range. Eight. Nothing. We're in the lucky there. And then the battle master, who's also at two heat this turn, or one heat actually, he didn't heat up. He's got three. Yeah, he'll just shoot you. He's two goes to three for your TMM. Why be fancy when you don't have to be fancy? There's no point. I'm oh, sorry, four for um, heat. So that's going to be two damage. Two. The out armor, but that is all of our shooting. And over to you. Thunderbolt. Try and ace my. He's going to, yeah, he's going to attack the little guy. So it's going to be four dice. Uh, he is weapon skill three, uh, six for your TMN, mm -hmm. seven for the cover. Yep. That should be it. He's overheating. Hey. Might as well. Oh, I'm that's not, right. I'm not that kind of Thunderbolt. You're just, you're just four dice Thunderbolt. I'm only three dice Thunderbolt, but I have an overheat. That's why. Uh, what did I say? Seven, seven. Yep. Uh, that's two. I'm not a lucky, so that's just two. Uh, I am now broken, though, so I have to retreat. That's half my structure. Kills me, so the SRMs might get me now. Oh, but that one's You're not easily in range. Oh, yeah. And so are you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get him, SRMs. So we'll do that SRM battery first. Okay. Uh, so it is going to be four, seven. Eight for obscured. Eight. Got him. Come on, 12. You can do it. 12. 12. No. That's. It's the 12. opposite. I think the 12 is literally on the it's, other side yes. of the die. It's right there, yeah. You just dropped it upside down. All right, hey, try the next one. If you were in Australia, you would have lost your It's true. <laughs> if, we're that's, that's science <laughs> if we were in Bizarro World, we definitely would have uh, lost. So yeah, we'll take the other SRM shot, which will be the same shot. Get him. Eight. Eight. This time, I'm trying to roll one. Right, yeah. Yeah. right, 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 right. Try hard. Go Magic Touch, Jay! Oh my god! <laughs> you tried too Why? hard! You tried too hard. The problem is that you said you thought it was opposite world. We're not actually in opposite world. I think this one's in six. I'm giving you an extra one. Do it. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that? Okay. We're not doing that. All right, all right, all right. Why aren't they lucky? They could have been lucky. They were born lucky. Start off by shooting the T bolt in the back. <laughs> okay. So I guess he can still long gun it too. Four, five. Do it. There we go. The Thunderbolt. Okay. Wasp. Um, are we 360 or are we 180? 180 from the back. Okay. So he, wait, where am I again? Not quite. Okay. So Frank's lost some armor. Everybody else is relatively untouched. Want so Frank? it is going to be four, five, six, seven. Going hard. Go Wasp. 
Oh, yeah, you're doing good. That's a crit. You're doing good. So one point of damage and whatever an eight is. That's movement. You could uh, you could definitely hunt me down now because I only move three. And then my catapult. Catapult. Is going to shoot you with what will probably be not even armed missiles at that range. <laughs> they just fall to the launcher. They're gonna bludgeon you with missiles. <laughs> they don't even lock on. They just fly to the launcher into him. Uh, <laughs> Fives because you're in short range in the open. Uh, so I'll take all three of those. That will be all my armor uh, that is remaining. It's the Valkyrie's turn. So the Valkyrie is better at medium range than he is at short range. So two dice. So he's going to be, uh, he starts on threes. Four or five so for range, three. six for TMM, seven for stuff in the way. Yeah. So seven, two dice. Go Valkyrie. This is your moment. This is your moment. So it's one through. What's a crit? Come on. Big money, no whammies. Nine? Right, that's a nothing. That that's was not, big. That was exciting. That was almost it. <laughs> All right, so uh, your 100 points now is on a three plus arriving. They end around three. Well, the, the previous? Yeah, so okay. it, we'll do the um, uh, the Marauder first. Horatio Grunge. Okay, get a new die. This die sucks. <laughs> and then... Oh, just doing my breathing exercises. <laughs> just hold on. Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk, get a new dice. No, get any dice. I'm working my way up there. I know I'm working oh my way up there. Oh my god. All the ones are out of it now. Oh my god. <laughs> he lived together to die alone. He's uh he's a little less scared. So it's round four. Uh three, four. You have five miles on the table. I have two, four, six. Oh, so again, not not gonna be sweet. super terrible. Um yeah, we're in a weird place right now where we need to start falling back because I think we're ahead on mech kills. Well, and that's yeah, three, and we're tied and we're tied on the other stuff, so. This is where we start actually falling back and hoping we just get more. So first, Frank, Don't he's gonna start. I think I shot Frank in the leg. You did shoot Frank in the leg. So he only moves three this turn. That's more than enough to, to get to Party Town. Oh wait, we should roll for initiative. That's a that's oh, still yeah, a that's thing. Fair. That's, that's still fair. a thing. Let's do that. Yep, you won. I'll do the plus two. You move first. You know my SPA that I didn't reveal three times by saying it out loud. I go. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, Eeyore. <laughs> back, back we go. <laughs> Frank limps away. Round two, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. Uh, this guy has to fall back because he's down to half his structure. So he goes his eight. Oh, I don't want to get haunted by the catapult. So I got a question for you. Yeah. When you first realized that Ice T is in Break into Electric Blue Glue, <laughs> did you have to go back and rewatch it just to, just to verify that? I did. I did have to do a do a quick sense check. Yeah. I have to go directly towards my table edge. So I actually don't have a choice. I have to run back to here. <laughs> Peace out. He's in Catapult Town. Do that guy. Yeah, that guy denotes the violence. Uh, hmm. Catapulte. So I got some choices here. And then the catapult's gonna walk back eight. We're just gonna start consolidating back towards the edge. The honey ham is ours. You. Okie doke. Uh, your battle master hasn't moved. And these two guys haven't moved. Wasp. Yeah. So we're gonna do the wasp. He's gonna. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, girl, I like your back. <laughs> hello, hello, little buddy. <laughs> to, welcome to, I guess, the, the smash. Everyone. <laughs> Look, just because we get letters telling us that we're terrible at this doesn't mean we should stop doing it. Um, you're catapult, I think, and that's it. Yeah, who's carrying stuff? Mm, him, because everybody else who had carry, who's carrying stuff left. Not that I actually think it matters, but thematically it would make sense to try and murder him with his one point of remaining health. Okay. Trebek. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He'll just go stand there, I guess. Uh, and then it's just with Thunderbolt. He's worth on this ambush yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk over here and just get into contact with that just in case things go great. Shoot the guns first. And I can't remember, can I see his insides yet or no? Uh, Mr. Thunderbolt, yeah. you can not quite. He has two points left until he sees insides. Two points. Okay. So. Definitely in range. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do him and then him. So okay. he is going to be four. Uh, sorry, what's his? Team is one. Sorry. One. I forgot to put that so it's going to be five. Bam. Nope. Oh. The other one? And the Warhammer's not even damaged, right? No. The Warhammer is uh, is, is right. enjoying his current stock. So he'll, he'll go with the Thunderbolt as well. Do it. Should be the same shot. 
Oh, it is literally the same Ooh. shot. Ooh. You guys who don't work for me are fired. <laughs> so we're, we're volunteers. <laughs> then you're extra fired. That's right, yeah. I fight you for life. And Frank, I can see his insides. You can see Frank's insides. Can also, the locust, you can, the locust is, is completely inside and has one point left. Okay. He could definitely try and locust and then maybe the cat get the other one. Yeah. yeah wasp versus locust. In nature, I don't even know who would win this. <laughs> uh, so oh, that'll do. Has him down. Peace out. And then we will roll flicker it and see if he's got oh, one. Right. Just in case I needed to repair it. Uh, nine, nine is it nothing? Nothing. Oh, right in the nothing. Man. Right in the nothing. Uh, and then the catapult is skill four, uh, five, plus one for standing still. So back to four. So Frank has oh, it is awesome. Five boxes left. So this is gonna be three dice against your five boxes. You stole this guy too because you forgot to move. Oh my god, I do. Where yeah. you want him to go? From anywhere. He's got 10. It would have been between my Warhammer and the Thunderbolt. Yeah, it would have been the Thunderbolt. So we'll just pull him to that wall there. Okay. Boop. Frank. On fives. On fours. Get him. Fours. Get that still. Uh, so that is going to be two more. Oh, it's almost there. He's got three left, which means you could uh, Valkyrie him to death potentially. Though, because you got through my armor. Oh, I did get through your armor? Sorry. I thought that was. It's already through the armor, yeah. Uh, so seven. seven. That's his movement again, I think. Valkyrie me because you moved too close to the Thunderbolt. Now you've, you've shot him right in the legs. So, so he's, he's, at, he's at an inch and a half of movement per three, turn now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You need to get to kill him. You can do it with three. Uh, so two. One. And I'll take the crit that goes Oh, one. That's right. Yep. And the crit. Just, just shoot whatever's left of his leg off. <laughs> that's right. We're right in the seven again. Butter. He's not caught in hill by Butter. Over. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Is that a seven? That's an eleven. That's an eleven. Unit, so I heat up when I fire my weapons now, uh, and that looks like it. So Frank's hurting. Uh, I get to shoot back. Hmm. And the wasp is dead, or the locust is dead. So the locust is going to open up. I, I shoot the building just to try. It's got three structure left. The catapult's out of armor too. Just yeah, I'll shoot the catapult. Sure. Two two dice. I'm four. Uh, I'm not heated up, so just five. Actually, you've set still, so just yeah. four. I'm just on fours. And Hell's Heart Con, one. Through the armor. That's a five, which is nothing. Uh, so he's all done, and then let's just see if uh, we can make an example to you. You've got, you're Mr. Battlemaster. You shot for one heat, you got three dice. I feel like we overheat again. Two, three, four for your um, TMM, five for my heat. Bang, right in the kisser. Oh, oh one. you rolled like me. One? I'll re-roll my last SPA. Two. Two. He's gone. Uh, catapult didn't fire last turn. I don't need armor for that wasp to finish off your assault match. This is true. So I'm going to, <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to shoot my overheating now catapult. So he'll go to four dice. He's at four, five, six. What do you get killed by? Shit. Shame. shame. Died, died from shame. That's the, that's the thing. That's actually the thing that uh, Frank was born with. Uh, one, two, three? Yeah, so that's him. Mm, so the... We, red! Frank's gonna shoot back. So he is one. He'll gain a heat from this. Uh, you didn't move. So don't roll ones, Frank. I didn't roll ones. Four damage on the catapult. This should be all of it, I think. Uh, that is all of it. So roll your crit. Bang! Eight, which is a weapon. And then I think we just try and finish this building off with the Warhammer and then loot it with the Thunderbolt if we do. So but we have to kill the guys inside. So the Warhammer has two heat on it. It's going to go to three. It's going to roll five dice. This is Valkyrie against the roll right now. Um, so five dice immobile. So skill two, two heat at the beginning of this. Back down to three for the being immobile. I do, oh my god, only three hits, which all get absorbed, but that does collapse the building, and now we have to figure out what that does to the infantry. Paste it, okay. So infantry are just destroyed, which means that, that that is now a clear building, but I can't actually loot it this turn, I realized, because this isn't none of this is applied until the end, right? So we've just collapsed that building. So then Mr. T-Bolt, he's going to shoot this Valkyrie. Two heat on him, he's skilled two, uh, four for your TMM, five, six for heat. Also heat up again one more time for four dice. On sixes. Have four. Oh. That 
minus one crit. Okay. We went through the structure, but we didn't quite get you, so you have to fall back. That's a nine, which is nothing. And it's your reinforcements, end of the round. I was going to say, this sounds ridiculous, but I think I might have come out ahead on that building falling down, because now I can see the guy. This is true. Yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> this is true. Crush two plus now. Just get a new die. Get get a nice dice. Get your favorite dice. Yay, he's, hey, he's okay. here. So that's 56 points. Your Valkyrie? Or your, so your Phoenix Hawk, rather? Oh, Phoenix Hawk, yeah. Sorry, it's going to come on. And then I can have either the Stinger or the Locust. So it's going to be the Locust, because it has faster movement. Yeah, he was 16. And it's two plus. And he is good. Yep. So all right. All three of those guys. And they get placed on your board edge. Coming in hot. Turn five. And we roll for initiative. Oh, That's roll you. again. You got your bonus, don't you? No, I don't have bonus anymore. Oh, I use it once sorry. per game. Once per game is it. Stop that. <laughs> ha! Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So you get to move the first guy. So I'm at five to your one, two, three, four, five, six now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So your pass token goes. Sweet. Just to help you out so you know where he's standing. He was an inch and a half right now. Ha! Ah, he has to go towards my table edge. Not like dragging your leg limp right now. Yeah, pass token number two. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna need to loot this. So you're just gonna get into base to base because you're gonna shut down otherwise. The locust? The locust thing to you. Oh! Your blood hunt. Uh, <laughs> well, the problem is I also- He's almost dead too, actually. It's worth noting that the- um, the armor on him left is two, and he's got five structures. He has seven boxes left. He has two. Yep. That is the target of the blood hunt, obviously, and the locust comes to play. All right, uh, back to me. Oh, sorry, that was the warhammer already gone too. Uh, the catapult isn't super heated up right now. He really just wants to get in the way, so he's just gonna walk up, hold him. He's gonna go twelve. They're hunting Frank. This is the turn. Pop smoke. We're gonna back up with you, I think. And we'll go this way. We still walk eight. Form up my Avengers. Captain Crunch. Horatio. That means he's gonna outmaneuver me no matter what I do here. So the battle master, I think, just takes to the high ground like Anakin. Or like Obi-Wan. And watches the where he's gonna go. He might as well jump. Jump. Daddy Mac will make ya. <laughs> Chris Cross will make ya. Uh, Going in behind Frank? No, I'm trying. That's too close. Okay. Uh, oh, you wanna be farther away? It's like over here? Well, it's actually your Thunderbolt I want with him. Oh. oh so. Good, good. He's actually gonna jump farther away. He's out. But if they uh, live, you don't have to repair him. Right, uh, that was you shooting first. Yoke. Do you get the Francis? I feel like you do. Too far away now. Yeah. And that one's in. No, no. From the building? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okie doke. So yeah, let's start with the guys that are going to shoot at uh, Frank. So the locust. He's fine. He's doing great. <laughs> yeah, I survived two more turns of this. So the locust is... I thought five turns was the last turn. Six turns. Oh, sorry. Yeah, six my turns. Bad. We got one more turn after this. So the locust is going to be four, five, six, seven. And then... Yeah, he's got cover from those trees, so eight. Kay. Oh. Bloodhunt a reroll? Uh, I think Bloodhunt is a minus one TN yeah. for Bloodhunt. Get him right in the prank. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The opposite. All right. Um, Kiri. I mean, he's not getting away. He's so not. He's not leaving Phoenix the table. Hawk. Phoenix, so Hawk? Phoenix Hawk um, would have all the same modifiers, but he's one skill better, so it's going to be six, and he has two dice. Two dice, and, and this could finish me off. Sixes. That's one. one. It's through the structure, though. This could kill me. Bang goes the dynamite. And it's another movement hit. Four <laughs> against my engine. That guy actually kills me. Control hit. So it's plus two to hit now. He's going to shoot the warhammer. So he is four dice. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So sixes for him. <coughs> and that thing's basically fresh, right? Yeah. Yeah. It and the catapult and the battle master are all fresh. Uh, two. So just two. You're going to try and finish off your T bolt. Falcon to the Thunderbolt. Um, he's got two armor and five structure left. Oh, he's got two. Frank. I figured you were. None of this didn't work. Shooting Frank so makes more sense. Three. Four, five for range, six for jumping, um, seven for your TMN. Mm, eight for obscured. Eight for obscured. Okay, Thank you. The mech. Uh, so two dice, eights. 
Bang! I'll He's down. One. I'll be frank. And ten for a crit. That is. Uh, I think that's movement again. Our control. Yeah, I know the uh, the 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 toll troll. I guess is what we're gonna start naming this. Awesome is very shot up. It looks like rounds. Well, you got Frank, which is a big VP swing. Uh, I'm going to do my thing over here, which is to loot. Don't have hands on the warhammer though. But it's worth three. three. And that'll take me to I was at knock me down nine, six. ten, eleven. And you'll be down to six for the primer or for the I'm in trouble. Star points. More importantly, he didn't shoot this turn, so it wipes out his heat. Not shoot with a thunderbolt for the same reason. And wipe out his heat. And I just want to try and finish these guys off, I think. So uh Frank is gonna actually shoot your little little stingy guy. We'll shoot back. You killed me, I kill you. You you bring a knife, I bring a gun. So I got four dice. I have uh, one heat on me because I my, had my engine hit. Okay. So one goes to two for heat, three, four for range, five, six for TMM, seven for your cover. Sevens. I have one. Okay, so that's another crit. And it's crit through. What do I get? A four, which is your fire control, I believe. And the battle master will also shoot him. So it'll be three dice. Is he super overheated? He's overheated He's twice. He's only got one left. You only got one left? Yeah, but it's worth finishing him off. No, but I'm just saying, you don't need the extra dice. Right. It's more what's my roll to hit right now. Right. So I'm two, three, four for heat, five, six for range, seven for obscured, eight, nine for cover. TMM rather. Nines. Got one. And that'll do it. And then you want to roll your crit. The crit effect, just for the repairs, it's a... Boxcar, it's an ammo destroy. I think that just slags you. Detonated. 12 is just a unit destroyed. So that means that he'll have to get like repurchased because he is not just shot up, he is uh, annihilated. Um, so then... I've only killed one of your mechs, I think. Yes, but you killed a heavy and yeah. you've killed a uh, light. And then over here we've got... And some people are below half. And so you've got uh, three shots. You could also just not and, over and not overheat. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to not shoot this round and get rid of our heat. It's like turn, so Frank comes off and is destroyed. And it's round six. You get to roll another hundred points and see if they show up. Uh, so no, there's no uh, two two pluses to show up. So Stinger. Actually, sorry, I think on turn six they auto show up. Oh, okay. there's one plus because it didn't say that they fell on a one, so they would just immediately arrive. Search the honey ham. So round six, final round of the game. You're looking to punish my mechs as they retreat and try and like focus on them and kill them for the VPs here. So initiative. Five. Also five. five. Again. Aha! Uh, you move the first one, not that it super matters. I'm not going to get closer, so he will stay there. Okay. Uh, the Hammer of War is going to walk back eight and say deuces. You're rocking out. All right. The Hammer of Thor, I mean, I guess the whatever he is, he's going to walk eight as well. Come back, come back, come back, come back! <laughs> <laughs> I like how fast he goes. <laughs> the chicken walk is my favorite. Master of Battle. Gonna walk to there. It hurts or nothing, I think. And then over here, let me just fall back. Yeah, the problem is very few of my guys have any dice at long range. Right. So. Walking in. With the Captain Horatio. Do you have to pick a new Blood Hunt target now? Where's my Blood Hunt target? Made sense, because they're the ones that are gonna be in range for everybody. I'm all done, so it's just you moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am. Totally out of dudes. In fact, I think you doubled me. No, you didn't quite double me. No, because I still had my That's right. monkey guys. Mm -hmm. So you're going to sting your way up there. Great first game, Thug. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> your ability to roll ones for your reinforcements Valuable is asset. astounding. I'm send bigger fighters to protect the honey ham. Let me just tell you, this is not... Uh, this is not how we do. So, uh, shooting? I lost the roll? No, you lost the roll. Yeah, I lost the roll. Uh, okay. okay, so I get, you have to shoot first. Uh, so I'm going to locust up your uh, Thunderbolt. You're not going to kill him. He's just trying to roll a crater. He wants to roll a 12 Four. followed by a 12. <laughs> uh, five, six, seven. Yeah. 12. So it'll be a point of damage. You got my left. So Phoenix Hawk is going to be two dice against the Warhammer. Okay. So he is skill three. So it's going to be three, four, five for range, six for your TMN, seven for the intervening train. So seven. Still looking for the crit. Get that 12. Whoa. Almost. So Oof. one more. Left in the Warhammer. And it's into his structure. Uh, the Stinger. Oh, I'm going to. Let's. I'll finish the Warhammer. Yeah. Okay. So the Stinger is going to be one die. 
Can he overheat? Just checking out. He is one die. He is, oh, but he's my blood hunt guy for that. Yep, so, it's your minus one to that. So he is four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one is seven. You got it. Nope. Nothing on the Warhammer. The Horatio? Horatio, also on the Warhammer. Uh, he's not part of that unit though, so he's not going to have the blood hunt. But he's skilled two. Isn't he's he? skilled two. Yeah. <laughs> so two. So four dice. Um, Looks like sixes. So two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Uh, so How about that'll three? be three damage. Blah! Uh, on the Warhammer, that is going to almost finish up his armor. He has one left. Oh, fantastic. Our game starts thugging and bugging on that. <laughs> you guy. start thugging and bugging. This is happening. So. 24. Oh, yeah. You oh, got yeah. it. Perfect. Okay. So he's got three dice. You're damn right he's going to overheat on his one turn <laughs> of the game. Uh, so he is skill three. So three, four, five, six, six seven, seven yeah. on four dice. Come on, thug, this is your moment. You need two. Get through the armor and then you box car him to kill him. You got it. One of the structures, so what do you got for that critical hit? Box cars or snake eyes? Nope. Oh! Ammo hit, and this guy is. Oh, he's case. So ammo hit. Uh, unless the unit has case, case two or energy, the unit is destroyed. Remove the destroyed unit from play. In the unit of case, take an additional point of damage and roll again for the critical hit table oh, to see what happens. I'll take that. Now roll box cars. So he takes another on his into the structure. Yep. Okay. And then five, five. which is nothing. Oh, that's I got saved by Kate. That was awesome. Yeah, it's four left, but that's it. I think that's all you're shooting. So it's back to me, and I think we just punish this little guy for getting too close and come to the wrong town, Logist. Uh, let's go with you first. He blood off all his heat last turn, which means he's hitting on skill two, TMM for five, six for obscured. He'll overheat again for a point. Sixes, take three, three, crit through, which all but annihilates his armor and structure. Six, which is a movement. Catapult will also overheat for four dice. He's on four, seven for your TMM, <laughs> eight, eight for your overheat. Ha, I don't know, I missed worse before. Yeah, I only got, I got two. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, roll your crit too. And one crit, which is five, which is nothing. Uh, then the battle master is gonna go into the Valkyrie. So that's right, the Valkyrie's uh, gone. Already dead. Yeah. Already dead. <laughs> All right. So the Battle Master's got two heat on him. He'll go to three for four dice. So he's skilled two, four for heat, five for terrain, six, seven for your TMM, eight, nine for range. So nines have two. On the Phoenix Hawk. Okay. And it's just the Warhammer. He's totally cooled off, so he'll heat up again for five dice. And he's skilled two. Uh, three, four for range, five for this, six for seven for your TMM. Sevens have two, and one's a crit because I rolled the pilot die at 12. I get a seven, which is your uh, movement. That's it, I'm all done. So I just get the little guy at the end of all this. Yeah. So basically you're worth your size in VPs. So you're gonna get four, five because he's the commander, six for this light, and then two remaining unlooted buildings is 13 to your total VPs. I got 11 VPs for size, basically, because I didn't get your commander. I got one, two, three, four lights who are size no, one. he's medium. So oh, he's three, medium. Four, five, and then, um, oh, sorry, these are heavies. So well, it just depends on the size. But then it's 14, right? not 11. So, so ones are worth one, two threes are worth two, and then uh, he's a three as well, yeah? yeah. So that'll be uh, eight. 11, so it's 11, the first yeah. time, actually. So 11, so I go to 22. So it's 22 to 13 at the end of it all. Six. Kender scores 14 D6 SPs plus your victory points. The in, oh, so actually, we don't get our victory points this yeah. game. I just get... So okay, I, you, I score that if I win. No, you just get that. You just score Victor's that no matter what. Score, defender scores... That's oh, it. that's right, 14 D6. I, I, think it's, I think it's just if I win. We get two times 11 um, loot points, so 2d6 for each loot point means I'm gonna have 22 dice. 22 d6, so 5, 10, and 15, 22 d6s is my victor's reward. Then we get, our, we get our standard SPs for, just for the victory point count. Bam! Sure, so uh, Take, yeah. five, 10, 15. Oh, sorry, I that's okay. Tens. That's another 10. Oh, sorry, tw sorry, 20 rather. 30, sorry, 30, 40, 50. 
I'm gonna let you do it. 60. <laughs> uh, 70, 80, uh -huh. 96. 96. Uh, and then in addition, both players score SP equal to four times your VP score. So you're gonna get 44 SPs to your mission pool. 13, sorry, 52. And then I'm gonna get, I had 22 times four, so 88. No, we still roll on Spoils of War. So you roll a D6 and I roll a 2D6. Remember, you got a free mech last time. All right. So roll a D6, try roll a one again for another free 40 point unit. Four. four. Uh, mech tech miracle replace one unit's been destroyed for no cost. One of your mech techs is just a complete miracle and whatever your most expensive destroyed thing was just comes back so and it's gone. So I just wait until I figure out a Figure out who's destroyed or not, yep. And I roll 2d6 and get a nine. A decoy maneuver before the first uh, turn of the next mission, re redeploy one of your deployed formation detachments after all deployed deployments finished. So I get to redeploy one of my lances. If units are salvageable, we gotta roll three pluses. So Frank's is salvageable. Oh, good job, Toll Troll. And then the Locust is also salvageable. So we just have to actually repair them. Destroyed. The Valkyrie is destroyed, that's right, because we, we did the, the big thing. So the thing. Locust is fine. It's fine. The Stinger? I'm sorry. That's the Valkyrie. The that's Stinger. Right. Yeah, yeah. Or Wasp is destroyed. The Wasp is destroyed. The Blackjack is good. The Thunderbolt is good. The Warhammer is good. And the catapult, you don't deserve to survive. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's good. Pilots too. Yeah, we roll for pilots afterwards. So on last time, only the destroyed units actually check to see if their pilots die or not. So for the one that exploded, the Valkyrie, mm -hmm. three plus. He's yeah. fine. So he's good. And then the Wasp. Is also he's good. good. And then the Valkyrie, I'm going to undestroy. For your med deck, for your miracle, med yep. Yeah. And the, st the Stinger will be the one that has to be bought fresh, basically, but it's base cost, not its level up cost, because this pilot's still alive. My damage costs 59. I had 14 in crits I had to repair, and then a total of 45 in actual damage boxes. You managed to fully repair this host, and then your catapult and your blackjack are kind of half repaired. Yeah, so we repaired all the internal damage to the two of them, but they're both still zero armor and zero <laughs> internal structure. Zine said that you um, can imagine them in the Mech bay basically. So they are in the mech bay yeah. waiting for us to uh, to resolve their issues. Alright, wow. But we do have some more stuff holding back in reserve. I was going to say, there's, there's plenty of light horse basically sitting aside. So I get to actually play around a little bit with my SPA. I've got 135 left. I'm actually going to hire some reinforcements just for funsies. Right, so I'm spending 131 of my 135 to bring the, this, this reinforcement to my company basically. Uh, so the most important one here is the urban mech. We call him Toe Knife with his uh, sniper and his uh, skill of four. He's 19 points. And then we got a battle master. We brought him back in. Uh, we've, we've bought a new one. We got a commando here, both at skill three and skill two, and a skill three shadow hawk. That takes the, uh, the Reynolds Rangers to a full reinforced company, and these guys are gonna be a support lance. Um, as the fourth lance, which means that they can basically split in half and up to half of them can have the same SPAs as one of the other lances. So it means that I can kind of mix and match their roles during the game, which kind of represents the fact that I've got like two size ones, an urban mech, and a size four and a size two in here. And so here's Jay's reinforced company with a couple extra support mechs, all repaired except for these two in the back, the blackjack and the uh, catapult getting kind of mothballed. Yeah, and then we moved the thug into the battle lance to maintain that as a proper lance. You got it. And then those three guys are just my remaining unallocated reserves. So they'll be a support lance? Uh, well, they won't now because there's only three. Yeah, but these guys can still be uh, in the lance, just stripped oh, down, fair enough, right? Yeah. And then they can still be part of the support lance. So there you go, Frank making it off with the honey ham, managing to smash and grab his way into the settlement. Uh, this is the second of a third of three missions, basically, for this campaign. Uh, we have to make our escape now with our forces basically scattered to the wind, get back to the dropship and leave the planet before the light horse can get to us. So that'll be in two weeks. Big thanks for watching. Until next time on Ash. Have a great one. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. 
You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Desperate Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.